Hey, this is Carl with another SOP video for managed service providers. And today we're going to talk about your first engagement with a client. And I want to think about the first client visit as sort of the end of the sales process because they've listened to your sales spiel, they signed an agreement, they brought you in, and this is the first opportunity for your new client to see exactly how you do work. And the key to success for any service business is consistency. You know what to expect when you go into a McDonald's or a Starbucks or a Macy's department store or any kind of store that you go into. You know what you're going to get. There are cleaning services and all kinds of franchises where you know exactly what you're going to get. And it's because of consistency that they can deliver good service and have happy clients time after time after time. There are four simple things you need to do to make sure that your first client visit is completely successful. Number one, pick the right job. Pick a very small, manageable job that you know that you'll be successful at. It might be as simple as cleaning up all the machines and putting your RMM agent on them. Something like that where it's very clear what the boundaries of the job are and you know exactly what you're going to do. Second, it, that job needs to be very well defined and that means no scope creep. That means you say we are here to do this exact thing and that's it. So the client can't throw a bunch of stuff in there. Number three is related to that. This is not the opportunity for you to fix everything that's wrong with the client's office, right? So there's no Pandora's box. They can't say, oh, the technology guy's here. Let me throw everything I have under your box because that will make the job unsuccessful. It will make it unsatisfying for the client. It will make it hard for you to be uh, profitable and it will be make it hard for you to demonstrate the way that you do business. And finally, the last thing you have to think about is that your cost has to be exactly and precisely what you estimated. So if you estimate four hours and it takes you six, you bill that client for four hours. If, if your estimate is four hours and it takes 12, you bill that client for four hours. They need to know that you are going to stick to your word and that when you give them an estimate, it is accurate. And then you have to make sure your estimates are good after that because you don't want to lose a bunch of money. But at least you've set that standard. The client knows what to expect and what they expect is high quality, good service and exactly what you promised. So why do we want to go to all this trouble to make that first job so successful? Well, the biggest thing is the positive impression that it's going to leave with your clients. Your clients are going to come out of there knowing that you have processes and procedures and you know exactly what you're doing. You have tools and you use them. You, they're going to see that you work off of a service ticket and that they can't just throw anything they want onto that ticket. They're going to see that you actually know how to document your work. You're going to show them by doing what you do best. You're also going to show them that you know how to take really great notes. You're going to show them that you know how to bill appropriately and the, how you interact. You're going to say hi to them. You're going to go out of your way to be nice. You're going to actually demonstrate that you're not just like every other computer technician that has walked through the door. So in general, you want to make sure that you have a very small, defined, successful first visit and then you guarantee that you'll be welcome back for the second visit. That's it for this week. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to support these videos, please go to smbbooks.com and think about supporting us by purchasing one or more of the items there. This is Carl saying I wish you the best of luck in your service business.